Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh Kumar and I'm your DevOps SRE DevSecOps coach. I have a uh, close to 18 plus years of experience working uh, in uh, multiple MNSCs around the globe and uh, having in-depth knowledge of DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, so I would like to introduce you uh, one certification program in a DevOps and that is we, we call it DevOps Certified Professional. Uh, now this is a two months of program, 25 tools uh, of DevOps you will learn. And uh, apart from that, you will also get the access to the LMS, lifetime access to the videos portal. It's a certification program and uh, you will have 25 assignments and two projects along with it. It's a completely weekend program. So here you have a classes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so as part of this course, you will learn multiple things. Here you see that uh, you will learn Linux, AWS, Docker, Jira, Confluence, Python, Git with GitHub, SonarCube, Maven, Gradle, Packer, Artifactory, Selenium, Jmeter, Ansible, Kubernetes, Helm, Terraform, Jenkins, Datadog, Splunk, and Neuralink. Uh, now, how do we, uh, you know, apply for this? So, how can you reach out to us? So you have a WhatsApp number and email ID. So please uh, reach out to us and we'll help you to onboard this program. Uh, apart from this uh, DevOps certified professional programs, we are offering other certifications as well in a DevSecOps, SRE and uh, one of the very, very comprehensive programs which we have is in, ma is in Master in DevOps Engineering. Yeah, so feel free to get in touch with us and then uh, enroll for it. Thank you. Okay. So the first thing, what is runtime? Guys, in order to understand the run deck, you need to understand the concept of run book. You want to have idea what is a run book? Is it an automation script? Yeah, of some something sort? like that. So see what happens. I'll just I'm not writing too much. Okay, but I'm just trying to explain you through the you know, discussion. Uh, all the time what happens uh, we are not awarded with we are not given the access to the production server understand this very simple scenario uh, most of us will not get access to the production server you will not get a keys you will not get a password you will not be allowed to access it most of the time but you will be doing some activities on the production server okay so scenario number one Production server access is not serial, means no one is sharing that access to you. At the same time, you have to run some commands over there. That commands, it can be some monitoring command, observability command, some correction commands, troubleshooting commands, Linux command, or some scripting command, anything. It can be literally anything. You want to run it to you know fix that problem or something like that. Or maybe you want to query something to the servers. So then, uh, then we have a run book. So run book, basically, if you remember that we have a, uh, we have a, the prod servers, and then we set up a observability. Now, what is observability? I think uh, all of you are knowing, correct? No? All of you. So prod server, and then we set up observability, correct? What is observability, by the way? Just. Uh, Let's have a discussion, sort of it, rather than me telling you a bit. Observability means being able to uh, trace, log, and uh, yeah, the uh, logs, metrics, yeah, logs, ATM, synthetic, and all. So I have taught you many tools for that actually: Datadog, Neuralink, uh, Prometheus, and few other tools also. Yes. So they will set up, they will help you to set up observability. So production server, we set up observability and then we get alerts, correct? Alerts because of it violate the threshold. And then alerts can create an incident. And then incident we will work. I see engineers means I see engineers will work on the incident. In order to work on the incident, you will have to run multiple commands in the production server. So what we do? We run the run book. So run book means what? So run book means it can be a script also. It is a script. It's a document also. It can be documents also. Uh, it can be commands also. It can be literally anything. But you know what? Uh, this IC engineer do not get access to production server. So how would they do that? 
you know that you know that what command you want to run which command script you want to run which document you want to run in order to investigate the incident the which you have got it you know that all these processes but how can you do that and that is where the run deck is coming into the picture okay let me tell you here huge cases of run decks run deck is lot many other use cases are there but the primary reason why the run deck was developed is this one to provide the run book for the ca run deck which is run book automation okay so are you able to understand that all of you yes okay so this product earlier it was developed by uh, run deck only but later on this got acquired by page duty so now if you see that here there was site logo run deck by pager duty so pager duty has acquired all this product okay so this is something which we have so what is run deck so run deck is a tool which will would which would enable which would enable running run book in multiple environment servers and you know all these things why so primarily use primarily uses incident postmortem in sre concept we call it a postmortem okay so work on the incident but you know uh, nowadays people are using run deck for the ci also though you can use it yes very well so how it is how exactly this is and uh, how to set up and all anyways i'll show you the demo that's not a very difficult thing but this is something which we have so now they have a a community version also an enterprise version so i'm going to install the community version and that is what i'm going to do that so next thing is how to install it so you you can install <clears throat> you can install it in a command line also but i'll go and install through the um, docker why because this will save some, some time okay so this is machines i got it 8 gb machine and let me log into this machine so here and what key I have it. Uh, let me make it this view better. Okay, so now username is one two. And now I'll click on root to the reference. Now I'll directly install the run deck. So run deck. Uh, oh, before that, I need to install Docker, right? So Docker install DevOps tool. So this will help me to install Docker quickly and save in some time. So I'm installing Docker right now. And done. Here it is. Done. This command also. Done. And this is one command. Done. And then finally, this is a command. And last one to go. This command will install the Docker community editions. So Docker, you installed. Now, next question is how to install the run deck. So run deck install DevOps code. So now here you have uh, multiple documents. So I'm going to use it this one. Okay. So this is the the version which I'm using is run deck 4. Uh, so let me get the latest one. So run deck install Docker, and this is the documents, official documents. You can follow. Like a lot of things you have it right now. So you have to understand. That's uh, lots of not lots of uh, new release has come. So I can go with this my instructions only. So I'm using 4.0.1, which is a uh, almost same release, something like that. 
so or you, if you want to use it latest one also you can go for this one so copy this let me copy in this chat window and my command which i'm having is this one so let me check what is the difference so here i'm going to use name this the open source and the environment variable this is the one so here this is this should be my ip address so uh, if you run this command you know blindly uh, from inside you can access it but from outside you will not be able to access it so where to publish this is a uh, url so i will just replace this url and port number is 4440 and some environment variable let it be as it is and this is the directory so yeah this i will change this okay and let's check it out so go to command line and run this command. so all this documentation you have in detail different different types of installations so you can check it out offline right now we will get it through this now that so let me check the docker ps so here it is running uh, the port number was 4440 right now so for that uh, i will go to this ip address firewall and all i have opened up already and this is the let it see wait for a few seconds 36 right So this is the IP address. And this is the port number. Username and admin admin. So yeah, I'm just waiting for it. It takes some time to load. Now it's loading slowly. So don't rush to get panicked. Just have to wait for some time. 8 GB RAM I have given, so it's performing like that. So a little bit of more RAM probably you need it. So yeah. So username is ADMIN, password is AMIN, and you got this uh, run tech up and running. Did you understand all of you? Any questions? Any doubts? Hello? No. Okay. So now I think a little slow. Not sure why my internet is slow or something. Uh, let me check my internet. 8 GB RAM is sufficient for this. Uh, not sure why. I'm audible, right? Uh, that's my voice is audible one time, right? Buffering and all is good, right? Yes. Oh, then it's a problem with this. Okay, so this is your run deck. This is the UI. It's not changed, in fact, from last uh, one year, I guess. So, yeah, this is a run deck 4.8.0 is the latest one. And here you have many options. Little slow, but it's okay. We'll have to manage it. So, guys, this is the <coughs> sorry. So, this is the installation. Now, how to how to go in and set up this? So you need to understand this. Uh, I'll put it in a skeleton way. So you have to create a project. Okay. So project A and then project B. So, and each project you need to have a job. Job 1, job 2, job 3. Like that. It's like a Jenkins. If you remember that, same way. But uh, in Jenkins, we had directly job, right? But here is a different. And then here you have a step one.
If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.